Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Tuesday, May the 22nd, and this is the market overview. Looking at the Dow SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, SLV, XOY, XLF, GE, Apple, and whatever else we, uh, <laughs> we go over. Alright, today was not exactly what I had hoped for, but uh, it wasn't a bad day. Um, it's going to be very interesting because the... Uh, the different time frames are in disagreement as to uh, which direction that we go. And uh, just to paraphrase uh, the charts that are upcoming, the daily looks good. The 60 minute looks um, cautious. And uh, the 30 minute looks bad. So we really have some uh, very conflicting signals depending on which time frame you're looking at. And uh, starting off here with the Dow, it was all over today. At its height, it was uh, massively encouraging and then fell apart thanks to our friends over in Greece. Thank you, Greece. And uh, beyond that, um, I think actually pretty much the entire fall today could be uh, attributed to, uh, to the Greeks and uh, the rumor that came out about um, them preparing for a euro exit. I personally believe that that is a uh, tactic to push the issue of euro bonds um, Wednesday night, Thursday, whichever day that is. And uh, so next few days that's going to happen and, uh, and then we'll get to see what the result is, which is going to be a huge, huge, huge market mover. Starting off with the Dow, we ended with a uh, little doji star, no real body. It was down uh, 1.67 points, nothing. And uh, we still have a couple days on the uptick target. It uh, made really good effort towards that and, uh, and just uh, let it go. But beyond that, 14-day RSI moving average, still ticking down. We really need to see that roll. It's not time yet. Uh, the RSI flattened out. The stochastics are uh, trying to get underway to the upside. CCI ticking up. Histogram still ticking up. And the MACD itself um, not quite ticking up yet. So we do need a little follow through. Um, could have got it today, just didn't. And uh, hopefully this is not a, uh, a whipsaw and have all this stuff turned back down. That would be uh, terrible. <laughs> But uh, holding fast to the uptick, and uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, 60 minute. Oh, into the uh, interesting stuff. And this is going to be echoed throughout all the charts, the 60 minute time frame. And uh, here we have some conflicting signals. 60 minute or uh, 14 day RSI moving average is ticking up all kinds of room to move to the upside. That should be the prevailing trend but we have the secondaries moving against it uh, by the end of the day. The uh, stochastics heading down, CCI heading down, RSI uh, staying up high, which is fine. RSI is, uh, likes to get stuck where it's going. Histogram is sloping down and the MACD is flattening out, no bearish cross yet. Um, so it would appear that we need to have a reset on some of these secondaries, then have them turn around, join the 14 day, and complete its move to the top. Hopefully it's going all the way to the top. Um, last night's video, go back in time here, just a little bit. Here we were. And uh, we were saying last night that these were pretty darn extended and uh, would most likely need to reset. So, uh, yep. They are resetting. And I have to mention the 30 minute just because it sticks out and it's ugly. And this goes along with the reset of the secondaries. 30 minute time frame, 14 day RSI moving average. Starting to roll over, it's at the top. Um, having this uh, go down would be completely natural. It doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom. And uh, the stochastics certainly are already en route to the bottom. CCI is already uh, really low. RSI ticking down, histogram ticking down, getting a uh, bearish cross on the MACD. So it does jive with the 60 minute and uh, 
this is going to be on all the charts, so uh, I won't uh, just keep redoing it, but uh, something to be aware of. And uh, so a little more downside tomorrow. Completely natural, and uh, so long as it doesn't take out the previous low before the reset is done, um, I think everything will be okay. What would be great is if it completes the reset and essentially um, stays where it is. That would be optimal, but um, yeah, it could have some uh, some more down. SPX. This one actually uh, was up just over half a point, really nothing. But uh, it's green, unlike the Dow, which was red. And uh, still a couple days to resolve the uptick target. We were only at its height. We were only about 15 points away from it today, uh, which was nothing. So uh, can it still meet the uptick target? Absolutely. And just like the Dow, 14-day RSI moving average ticking down. Um, RSI up, stochastics up, CCI up, histogram ticking up. MACD has flattened out. Very nice sign. Um, and just to show, 60-minute, very, very similar to the Dow, essentially identical. And um, kind of interesting having it do its uh, little hammer at the end of the day, almost like it's... Uh, wants to be finished but uh, it doesn't really go along with the the secondaries so be really nice but uh, I'm not counting on it just uh, zooming up from the get-go tomorrow and the 30 minute is uh, is ugly just like uh, I showed on the Dow a minute ago comp Q the Nasdaq yeah this one was unattractive uh, goes hand in hand with Apple a I'll show Apple here in just a little bit. I think that that was uh, one of the main uh, factors, contributing factors for the market being as uh, as weak as it was today. Um, but uh, you'll see that soon enough. Ending with a spinning top indecision candle, 14 day RSI moving average, slight tick down, and everything else uh, with the exception of the RSI also ticking down very low. Um, and the MACD also slightly ticking down, but we have the histogram sloping up, we have the stochastics on the way up, we have the CCI on the way up, not too shabby. 60-minute um, time frame, very similar to the Dow and SPX, just waiting for the secondaries to finish their, uh, their reset. And 30-minute is ugly, just like the others. Now here is a really good thing for the bulls, the VIX. Yes, we ended with a uh, really super hammer today, and it was green. Um, and it resolved the uh, bubble corrective move today. That's the only uh, little caveat uh, that was uh, noted intraday live in the daily running thread. Actually, barely taking a peak below 20, which is really cool, and uh, res and filling in this gap fill here. So, by the rules, supposed to do, uh, wait and see what it wants to do next now that a bubble corrective move has completed, but this was essentially a uh, almost a uh, bar retest today. So darn close, I might as well say that it is. And a uh, bubble corrective move finished. Now, look at all the secondaries. 14-day RSI moving average, yes, it's not ticking down yet, but it is very high. And a uh, rollover on that will uh, be really powerful to the downside. It's already aligned with this stochastics heading down, CCI heading down, the RSI slight tick up, uh, sloping down on the MACD histogram and down on the MACD. The sucker looks ready for a, uh, a real down move, and it did an amazing down move intraday today. So uh, very encouraging. Um, do I think that this is going to be a reversal signal here on this giant hammer and uh, up it goes anything's possible but um, in the daily time frame it seems unlikely 60 minute time frame notice the giant tail at the end of the day almost like it wants to be finished with this up move that would be really nice 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, getting a reset on the stochastics, the CCI. The uh, RSI is still pretty darn low, even though it has uptick at the end of the day. The histogram is sloping up, very rapid uh, ascension, and the uh, MACD itself ticking up. 
uh, not near a uh, bullish cross yet, but uh, still a uh, very powerful move once it decided to get its bump, and um, to, which echoes the uh, overall markets, which had a pretty strong uh, down move once uh, the Greeks messed it all up. 30 minute time frame here, we can see that yes, it is uh, aligned well for further up, even uh, even though the other time frames don't seem to agree with that. 14 days poised for a uh, ascent. Stochastic's already getting close to the top. CCI already over 100. Uh, MACD histogram ticking up. Bullish cross on the MACD itself. And uh, above the 50 on the RSI. So could we have a little more upside here? Yes. Do I want it to get back below 20? Yes. TNA. Mm. Yep, this one had a uh, really strong day until it fell apart. <laughs> Kissing the 200-day moving average. Still have a few days to resolve the uptick target, which is not far beyond the 200-day moving average. Ending with a spinning top, 14-day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastics up, CCI up, RSI down, histogram sloping up, MACD still ticking down very slightly. Um, and the 60 minute and the 30 minute are identical to the Dow and SPX. No need to rehash. And moving on to UUP. No, XOI. XOI. Yep, yep, yep. Just like everything else, fell apart when the news came out, spinning top. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastic trying to get underway to the upside. Up on the CCI, up on the RSI, up on the histogram, up on the MACD, this one does seem to be ready for a move up in the daily. Um, and I think this one's 60 was a little bit different. Yes. So everything else, uh, 60 minute time frame, the stochastics are underway to the downside and uh, you can see that here too but we can also see the fast has already gone to uh, oversold and is trying to turn around not a bad sign it is slightly different than everything else um, and uh, all the other secondaries are essentially the same but uh, just a little more development in the stochastics so uh, we could see a faster bounce up on XOI it would be beneficial for the market uh, just something to point out UUP, here's the, uh, <laughs> here's what caused all of the pain today. The Greek news came out, the dollar rallied, and rallied big. Um, it looked pretty odd even when the uh, market was doing uh, good to the upside today. It was way out of place compared to uh, Monday's candle. And uh, yeah, turned around, went on its way. Uh, this one's down tick target has not been met yet, and uh, still have a couple of days. It's going to take a pretty dramatic move to uh, to achieve that. Uh, kind of a disappointment making a new recent high. 14 day RSI moving average very very uh, high in comparison to recent actions. Uh, stochastics going down but losing some of their momentum up on the CCI up on the RSI very high. Up on the histogram and even up on the MACD histogram. Oh, so yes, this one is uh, that uh, uptick on the MACD histogram. I really don't like that, but uh, it is what it is. E FXE. Yeah, new recent low, not a good sign. Just got clobbered and. Um, we don't have much time for the uh, uptick target to resolve. Um, so, that is what it is. Histogram ticking down, don't like that. MACD down, RSI down, 14 day RSI moving average down, CCI down, and stochastics losing some of their gusto. So, uh, currency wise, yeah, it could look a lot better and uh, not a good sign. Not for the bulls. Oh, moving on to GLD. Yeah, big move up in the dollar. And um, 
Fat Body Spinning Top in GLD had finished its bubble corrective mover, waiting to see what it does next, and it's going down. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastics, uh, the fastest is already starting to turn down on the CCI, down the RSI, up on the histogram, and sideways on the MACD. Not a uh, really good looking chart. Um, not a good looking chart. And SLV. More of the same, not quite as extreme as gold. Spinning top. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastics losing some of their momentum up on the CCI, sideways on the RSI, slanting up on the MACD, and slightly up on the MAC, uh, slanting up on the MACD histogram and up on the MACD. Not nearly as bad as looking as gold uh, on the uh, daily. Hopefully, gold will uh, retrace and uh, recover itself, but uh, yeah, this is much better than gold for the moment, anyway. And XLF, the financials, doing so well at their highs of the day. Um, just gave all of it back. 14 day RSI moving average ticking down, stochastics up, CCI up, RSI up, histogram slanting up, MACD slight tick down. Not bad. And uh, kind of a uh, 60 minute, just like everything else, kind of a. Um, Caution and then 30 minute looks bad. And moving on to Apple, and the reasons why uh, markets did really poorly overall because uh, Apple leads the way and it led the way down. Just uh, went into a free fall today, but uh, I don't think all is lost on Apple. I mean, so it had a little. Uh, breather after a huge update on Monday. Uh, 14 day RSI moving average ticking up. Uh, stochastics up, CCI up, RSI down, histogram sloping up, MACD ticking up. Is this the end of the world? No. I don't think that it is. And uh, just because, uh, just to show how it was all day, started way up here and just uh, gave it all back. Um, we can see the uh, stochastics resetting themselves along with the CCI. RSI is holding high. This would be turning down if it was really bad. Uh, histogram sloping down, MACD ticking down. Um, fast stochastic is already pretty low. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see this finished by the end of uh, tomorrow. So um, hopefully the 14-day uh, can stay up there long enough to take advantage of a uh, rerun of the uh, stochastics back to the top. But uh, we shall see. GE. Get a better read on the Dow. See if there's any difference. 14 day RSI moving average. Slight tick down. Stochastics on the way up, along with the CCI, the RSI, the histogram, and the MACD. Can this be changed pretty easily? Yeah, if it has a good move, it's uh, essentially flatlined. So. Uh, Ending with a spinning top, closing above the major price consensus level, unlike Monday. Overall, not not bad. And any difference in the 60-minute? Yes. Look at that. It's uh, it's just heading on up. It did not have uh, uh, the weakness overall that uh, that the market did. So uh, this one normally foreshadows the Dow. This is not a bad uh, this is not a bad chart. 14 day RSI moving average still ticking up at the end of the day. Uh, stochastics pretty high, yeah, they're ticking down, but uh, they're not way down here, you know, uh, with all kinds of momentum trying to get to the bottom. Uh, CCI slight tick down at the end of the day, understandable since the markets were retreating. Uh, RSI holding high, MACD ticking sideways, still positive, and slightly down on the uh, histogram. If uh, this is going to lead the Dow, this is not bad. And JP Morgan, one of the most important banks, yeah, it had a good day. It had a really good day. Uh, spinning top. Finally got its uptick. Uptick gives it a target of uh, 37 roundabout. That would be a also a retest of the 200 day moving average, which we know needs to happen since, uh, since it's busted through it and needs to do a retest of it. 
14 day RSI moving average ticking down. Stochastics trying to get underway to the upside. CCI up, RSI up, histogram up finally, first uptick, and uh, MACD taking down. <clears throat> so, does this one look bad? No, it does not. And uh, I mean, this one, uh, I mean, this is the apple of banks, so uh, very important. 60 minute, any difference? No, it's essentially the same as the Dow and the SPX. So, um, Naturally, our RSI is actually a little bit worse, but uh, overall, not bad. Um, what am I missing? Go through this every night. What am I missing? What am I missing? Well, it'll probably come to me later, but it's not coming to me now. So, uh, that's it. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.